Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be solving educational round 167C, two movies, in which you are given the ratings given by each person for two movies. If they like the movie, they will leave a positive review and the movie's rating will increase by one. If that person dislike the movie, that means they will give a negative review and the movie's rating will decrease by one. A every person will review exactly one movie and we can choose which movie they will review. Okay, our task is to, cal is to calculate the maximum possible rating of the company and the company's rating is the minimum of the ratings of both the movies. Okay, now let's try to build this solution step by step. If the question says, that I need maximum possible rating of the company. Then first thought comes in my mind that at each step, we can keep on taking the maximum of the first or second values. But why would this not work? Because since the company's rating is the minimum of the two ratings of two movies, that means let's say if I took maximum at each point, and my first video has a rating of 5 means ha huh, my first movie has a rating of 5 and my second movie has a rating of 1 then my answer would be 1 but if my first movie rating is 4 and my second movie rating is 2 and now my answer is 2 so i am getting a better answer so, to find an optimal answer, I want to increase both of them, okay? If I continuously increasing only one area, then it will give me an unbalanced answer, which I don't want. Example where you might understand this. Let's say the test case is like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, I would take all of this and it might be 5 or 0 but let's say we would have 1 over here then it would be much optimal if I took 3 from here 1 from here and this for the second so my answer would be 4 and 1 and now my answer is 1 and not 0 which is more so how can we greedily find an optimal answer? This is how. Now see, if your pair has one value of minus one and an other value of something else, like if it has minus one and zero, then it is very easy to see that you should always pick this value because now if you have two company ratings li like this and if you pick the minus one then it might always lead to a worse answer like this might turn into one and your answer will degrade okay so if you have case like zero minus one you will always pick zero if you have a case like one minus one always pick the one even though you have 3 0 in increasing this will make it 4 0 which does not improve the answer but if i take minus 1 then my answer could worsen and i don't want to worsen my answer further okay and then if i have 1 and 0 i will again always pick 1 because if I pick 0, the ratings of the movies won't change. And so, that is not improving my answer. So, I will so I should might as well pick the 1 and try, to and try to increase it. So, this is the first case. If your minimum value is 0 or, or minus 1, then it is much better to pick the higher option. Okay, now this leads to three more cases. If it's 0 and 0, 
you don't need to do anything just skip it okay now there are two more important cases 1 1 and minus 1 minus 1 this is very important cases because if you have let's say five ones all around then 3 2 will be a very optimal answer because your answer is 2 any other distribution might lead to a worse answer and so you should be choosing an appropriate movie to judge okay not just the maximum so what can we do is first of all we will take count of these two okay count one stores how many pairs are both ones count two stores how many pairs are both minus ones now let me say ki by using these all types of cases i have got some answer let's say x and y and now i need to perform this c1 and c2 operation still okay now i want to perform this operations such that my answer becomes better okay so now see if i have some number of c1s then i will always apply it to the one having less number like if i have 4 and 1 then i will apply my operation to the lower number because that has chances of increasing my answer okay now since the values of c1 and c2 will be less than n so you can brute force each and every operation checking whichever number is minimum and add one to it now this part is done now c2 for c2 you need to perform the exact operation in reverse let's say you have 5 and 4 if I want to decrease a value I will choose the greater value to decrease why because if I decrease the smaller value then my answer will worsen hence I will always try to decrease the bigger value if there is no option but to decrease the answer okay so how did this intuition come up first of all if I have two numbers x and y the answer is minimum of x and y which means if i increase the minimum my answer will improve and so if i have two ones i will always choose the number with less votes and improve that and if i have to forcefully decrease the answer like both minus one then i will always choose the maximum number because this answer won't worsen if I choose the minimum value, then this answer will worsen and give you an inoptimal answer. Okay. Now, I'll explain the code. First of all, if you, if your pair is 0 and minus 1, that means you are choosing the 0. And hence, you did not add anything. Answer 1 stores the votes of the first movie. Answer 2 stores the votes of second movie. I have not used this list, so ignore it. Okay. Now, if I have one value 1 and other value 0 or minus 1, that means picking 1 might improve my answer, but picking minus 1 will always worsen my answer. So, I will choose the 1 wala part. And then, if B is 1 and A of Y is, is less than or equal to 0 means 0 or minus 1 then i will increase answer 2 and then i am counting the remaining pairs for both 1 count 1 plus plus for both minus 1 count 2 plus plus now while count 1 is more than 0 i choose to increase the current lower number and reverse for count 2 while count 2 is more than 0 I decrease my higher number and then print the minimum of answer 1 and answer 2 okay complexity of this code is O of 3n at worst case this will run for n operations this might run for n operations this might run for n operations 
total 3n okay so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe the video to never miss another tutorial